Danger Dolan. From electrical appliances nightmares to the horrors of drug addiction, we look at 15 scary scenes in non-horror movies. Number 15. Seeing your brother beaten to death, Casino. This is one horrific scene that really relies on how well you get along with your siblings. In this monster epic, Joe Pesci finds himself in the wrong end of a baseball bat and so does his brother. The brother is beaten to death while Pesci has to watch and then is thrown into a shallow grave with him. Jeez, no matter how annoying your brother is, this is one that sticks as a horrifying outcome for anyone and being buried alive with your dead sibling's body is utterly horrifying. Number 14. Willem Dafoe flirting, wild at heart. Yep, that old chestnut of a film that teams up Nicolas Cage with David Lynch also features one of the most disturbing performances from the ever scary looking Dafoe. When the young lovers find themselves at a hotel in the middle of nowhere, they run into the man with the worst teeth ever, who then has this rapey moment with Laura Dern that will make your soul cringe. If you had trouble looking at Dafoe's face already, then this will make you vomit the next time you see it. God, somebody get him a dentist. Number 13. The Incinerator, Toy Story 3. This is that odd mix of scary and sad that could only come from Pixar, they're pretty much experts at it. After falling to their doom into a garbage incinerator, we get this terrible image of the toys trying desperately to climb the ever falling waterfall of trash and failing. There's a moment where they resign themselves to their fiery fate, which I'm positive had more than one 8 year old on the edge of their seat with fear. Actually I'm pretty sure there were 30 year olds sitting on the edge of their seat as well, all for the fate of a bunch of toys. Number 12. Brain Parasites, Star Trek The Wrath of Khan. Star Trek doesn't delve into galaxy of terror shenanigans often, but when it does it always comes out as terrifying as with these crawling brain parasites. This scene that reintroduces us to Khan shows his lack of humanity by allowing this to happen to anyone, throwing worms into Chekhov and the other guys' space helmets so they can crawl painfully into their ears and control their minds. Surely there was a less disturbing way to hijack this starship Khan. Seriously, he had these things in a tank just waiting for the day when they would come in handy. That's pretty messed up, even for a genetically superior superhuman. Number 11. A Toaster's Nightmare, The Brave Little Toaster. So some of you may remember this animated film from the 80s where a toaster and some other anthropomorphic appliances try to find their way home. Then the toaster has a nightmare that will make any child mess their pants and run crying into the kitchen to the comfort of their family toaster. Seriously, this nightmare sequence is insane and terrifying for a kid's film. Then again, the film also features a song where old cars are being crushed and sing of their glory days, which must be equally damaging to a child's psyche. Number 10. Bilbo's demon face, Lord of the Rings. This is one person's O face you definitely don't want to see if this is anything to go by. This one shows the dark side of Bilbo Baggins that the ring brings out when he hands it to Frodo and damn does it look like something that crawled out of the gates of hell to get a last look at the ring. Although considering Smeagol's transformation, this one shouldn't be surprising. It's a jump scare that was meant for a different movie. Number 9. Sloth 7. Speaking of jump scares, here's one from the brilliant crime thriller that launched David Fincher's career. The good part of his career, I mean. Finding a man that's been kept alive in a paralyzed state, unable to move, hence being the deadly sin sloth, the detectives are in for quite the scare. The body, which is basically a skeleton and a thin layer of leather around it, is assumed dead until- Oh no, that damn thing just got up! It's a disturbing and scary moment that makes you immediately want to go out and do a fun run, or at least some exercise in the sun. Number 8. Fly, my pretties, the Wizard of Oz, uh, who wasn't introduced to their fear of flying primates by the classic Wizard of Oz. I was, and it's a fear that haunts me to this day. Basically, for the one person who hasn't seen it, the film's villain, the Wicked Witch, just happens to have a horde of flying mutants on hand to destroy her enemies. It doesn't help that the scene where they attack our heroes is in a place called the Haunted Forest, which just adds to the terror. Of course, we all know the real horror scene in this film is having to live in 1930s Kansas. Ick. Number 7. Face melting, Raiders of the Lost Ark. The Wrath of God has never been so gloriously gross than at the climactic reveal of Indy's first adventure. Sure it's just as that these Nazis get their skin turned into soup, but it still seems like a punishment that belongs in a much darker film than this adventure classic. Ah oh well, serves them right for messing with things they don't understand. Then again, you would think one of them would have been smart enough to look away once the spirits of death started flying about. So much for the Master Race. Number 6. Large Marge, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Dear God, never ever get in a truck on a dark road on a foggy night because it may just be Large Marge behind the wheel. Pee Wee is on a mission to find his stolen bike, leading him on a heap of wacky adventures, but the scene with Marge takes a turn for the dark when she starts to describe a wreck she encountered before turning into a claymation monster. Considering how bright and happy the film is up to this point, it comes out of nowhere. Still, there are scarier things out there, like being locked in a room with Pee Wee Herman. Number five. Call it, No Country for Old Men. 
This is one game of heads or tails you'll want to avoid like the plague. Showing how intimidating Anton Shiguru is with just asking you to call a coin toss, after grilling the gas station attendant over his life choices, he decides to give him a chance to what we assume is to save his own life. The tension builds expertly to the point where you're really worried about this nobody gas guy. Maybe it's the awkwardness of the harmless man and the cold, calculating nature of Shiguru that makes this one of the best scenes in the film, or it could just be the morbid curiosity of, is this guy going to get his brains blown out? Yeah, actually, it's probably the brains one. Number four. The dead baby, train spotting. Well, guys, I've got news for you. Drugs are bad, and you should never, ever do them. That is, at least if you don't want to murder babies. After his friend's child dies from being high as fuck neglect, Renton has a disturbing freakout when he tries to quit cold turkey, leading to the greatest anti-drug commercial ever. Seriously, dead babies climbing the walls and then turning all exorcist is something no one wants in their future. So next time you pick up that needle, remember that terror awaits you. Or just don't be a neglectful parent. In general, either way, it's a good thing. Number three. Judge Doom, who framed Roger Rabbit. It. Doc Brown isn't that scary at all, right? He's just a little creepy for the most part, but then he melts a cartoon shoe and it's absolutely terrifying. The scene is one that will give you more feels over animated footwear than you ever thought possible. It's like watching the slow torture of a child as the tune is dissolved into acid and it makes you feel like you're watching a much darker movie than you are. Then again, with the graphic shoe murder and the whole Jessica Rabbit goes commando thing, perhaps this movie is as dark as fuck. Number two. The WTF Tunnel, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. See this world of wonder and candy and childhood dreams? Well, please step onto this ferry ride so we can scare the holy shit out of you. What was Wonka thinking when he decided to build the scariest ride in the world right between the Chocolate River and the next murder trap for bad children? But it's Gene Wilder's performance that makes this boat ride one that you'll never want to go on again. There's no earthly way of knowing what the hell made them put this scene in the film about candy other than to show that Willy Wonka is a maniac and this place is full of death traps. Number one. Every death, watership down. Oh sure, I'd love to watch this cartoon about rabbits. Oh my god, what just happened to that cute little bunny? And that one! And all of them! This one pretty much could classify as a horror film, as so many rabbits are killed or stalked by predators in their pilgrimage for a new warren, that you may want to think twice before sending your kids in front of it. That said though, it's like Bambi's mother dying, it will certainly make your kids grow up hating hunting, so maybe you should, I don't know. Why have you turned to me for parenting advice, dammit? That's it for this countdown. And have a go-